and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm be going over what you need to be doing with your coins during the Zero Trip promo. And yesterday, I did the video going over what you should do before it. Now we're here. So I think it's time we go into what to be doing with your coins. You guys have been messaging me like crazy, asking me about what to be doing during the Zero Chill with your coins. Now, here's the thing. The presents are not rerolls, which greatly changes our strategy for the time being. We are not aware of the blitz yet, which also changes our strategy. Once we know all those things, our strategy will definitely be inclined towards that. But for the time being, guys, I have quite a few things that I can do with my coins. I just saw my coins probably went. My coins did go down a little bit. I'm buying a few things here. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm doing personally. So, guys, before we get into the video, though, as you guys know, it's 25 days of Poodmas. Guys, everyone you're watching, like this video. Comment your console and the secret word. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and do all those things you are entered to win, guys. So, that's all I said there. Let's smash the like button on this video, guys. Can we can we get our most likes ever on a video? On this video, I feel like it's possible. But anyways, let's get into this. My phone's going crazy from all the comments. i going to move that. Now, what I'm doing with my coins. So, first things first. Everything dropped with the Christmas promo. Now, had there been present rerolls, guys, I would have said go all in on that. But EA did not give us present rerolls which really sucks and I was super excited to do that so presents are based on kindling and a currency so we want to play the currency here now playing the currency is going to be a little bit different because we do not know if there's a blitz yet now guys the best thing I can advise right now if you see zero chill cards for cheap pick them up if you see a good, if you see them down 20k pick them up that's something I can recommend here because if there is a blitz or anything better comes out for kindling they will go up now here's the other thing if other good things come out, it could also lower the prices of these guys, which is why you need to find a base value here. So let's say 34. I mean 94. So McCaffrey's going for about 330. I've seen him go for as low as 290 and 305. If you find him for that price, I recommend you pick him up. Here's the thing, right? You can't lose coins on McCaffrey for below 310 because his training value automatically dictates that when the promo is over, he should be selling at this price anyways because he's going to have to stay up to date with all the other 94 overall cards. So what I'd recommend is if you do want to pick up some i'd recommend you just have like a card just one card one card or two of kindling because if they do drop a blitz at any point now remember you don't have to do this today another good advice by the way if you want to really wait you could also wait like a week and see as we get close to see if there's going to be a blitz because if there will be a blitz i mean by the time you know that there will probably be a kindling the kindling will skyrocket because blitz last year used snowflakes which is this year's version of kindling so you're going to want kindling on deck now you don't have to have now i wouldn't actually redeem it for kindling have a card ready to quick sell or to sell Here's the thing, right? So a blitz comes out, and it's, and we know a blitz coming, and there's probably gonna be kindling. You have McCaffrey. You have two options. You watch McCaffrey skyrocket to 450k. You sell and you make 150k, or you quick sell and you enter the blitz. That's why I want to have kindling on deck from house rules, and then we have a player or two just ready in case I want to sell them. Those are like my investments. And you also don't have to go to that level. You can also go to like 87 overalls, where you see here, and they're going for 23k. Uh, those 86, but 87. Uh, let's see, 87. Like Sam Hubbard, 30k. You can just as easily pick up a few of these guys, and I promise you guys, if a blitz does happen, these cards should skyrocket to like 70k, 60k. People are just gonna want, they, people don't care how much they're spending, they wanna go do the blitz offer, especially if the blitz offers are good. I watched this happen last year. EA seems to be greatly changing their strategy this year to avoid us from making coins as per usual, but it's definitely something you wanna be doing. Now, how much do you wanna have? Like I said, I think one card suffices. Now, if you have more coins, but like I said, again, there is a, you do run the risk of potentially a McCaffrey maybe coming down a little bit more if they drop more things, but it looks like he's coming back up. So if you can find a McCaffrey for like 310, I think that's a decent investment. 310, 315, we'll sit there sniping around for a while, or any of these cards. Darius Leonard. Now, for as far as Darius Leonard goes, he was just 160. I said to buy him. Now it's a little bit later. He would have been one of the better options to have bought before, but it seems like people are buying him out. Now, I don't know why he's so expensive. He was about like 160, 150 before. You can find him for that price again. Definitely pick him up, as well as Derwin James for a little bit below 200K. Based on their overalls, their training value will hold them up enough to where if you have to wait till the end of the promo to sell him again. By the way, that's the other thing. Let's say you pick up McCaffrey for 310, right? And then a week later, he's going for like 295. And you're like, wow, I lost coins. No, you didn't. Hold on to him. You still need the kindling. If a blitz comes out, he triples in price. You go, I mean, you see he, double, he almost doubles in price. You sell him, you make a ton of coins. Now, if he doesn't have a blitz, when the promo's over, training conversion happens, he starts quick selling for training, his value's going to come up back to the NFL 100 running back prices because by nature, his training value dictates that. So don't worry, you will be just fine if you do indeed have to wait even two weeks. I'm telling you, it's like, it's like, there's no risk. Either you have to just wait. The only risk is you might have to actually wait a little bit. 
other than that, you will be safe. That's what I did last year. I bought a bunch of Darnolds and a bunch of all those guys because I was like, okay, worst case scenario, I wait to the I wait for its end and I just sell them for the normal price and I lose nothing. Or the blitz happens and they get snowflakes or any they need snowflakes or anything like that and I'm fine. And it happened and I made millions of coins. Just one of my recommendations. Now the other thing, guys, you could also be making a lot of coins right now by just getting your regular sniping regular cards. One, th one thing that I can recommend, these NFL 100 cards, guys, they are on the fall down right now. I'll probably have a market video for you guys tomorrow about this. One guy that I just specifically picked up that I knew was a good buy was Tony Gonzalez. Tony Gonzalez was going for 405k. I bought him. I bought him. That's, that's a steal. Best tight end in Madden for 405k. I have George Kittle who goes for 360k. I'm selling Kittle right now. And there we go. For like a, for an increase of like 55k, I just picked up the best tight end in Madden. Not bad at all. A lot of these NFL 100 guys are steals right now. Barry Sanders was 380 before. Let's see if he's still... He's at 435 now, guys. I recommend, if you do want NFL 100 cards, they are at pretty good deals right now. Prices are coming back up. Now, if you missed out on this initial crash, remember, you could also wait a little bit until the next big drop. So, let's say in like two days, they drop the next master. Let's say Patrick Mahomes master. Let's just say, right? Terrell Suggs, Lawrence Taylor, whatever. Whatever. It's not going to be Lawrence Taylor. But you get the point. I'm just naming guys. They do drop those as masters. The initial crash will probably happen again. Now, Deacon Jones is one guy that specifically took a big hit because that Bruce Smith. Deacon Jones was 305 before. He come back up to 370. They're on their come up still, but if you guys can sit here for a little bit, you can probably still find them for adequate prices to snipe them at. They are really, really good deals. Just getting that out there. You guys want to be looking at these. Your word for this video is Santa. Comment down below Santa. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And comment down below your console also. Once you do all this, you're entered to win. Good luck. Lyman. Jonathan Ogden was like 425 before. Bruce Matthews, 435. Munoz is like 410. They're coming back up a little bit. Munoz is 450 right now. They're coming back up a little bit, guys. But I'm just letting you guys know. For the remainder of this promo, this is a lot of this advice isn't just today. This is advice for the remainder of this promo. Just letting you guys know. The one of the things you can do is whenever they drop new stuff, always sometimes I don't even look at the content. When they drop new content, I go to the older cards. That's like my whole uh, thrift shop method. You go right for the older cards. But then the phone hundred cards are going to take hits every time something drops. Because people are like I said, the shiny toy, old toy method. People are like, oh. Ooh, Bruce Smith, new, new promo. Okay, they sell their NFL 100 cards off to go get coins for kindling. It's going to happen every time. Also, if they do introduce a blitz with kindling, these cards are probably really cheap because people are going to be selling these cards to get coins to buy kindling. So stay tuned for that too. That might happen. So just stay on top. I'm just giving you guys all the little, the, the key points to be watching out for to make sure that you guys are always ready. Because you, I obviously, I can't always just make a video on the spot to tell you guys what to do at that moment. By that point, it's probably done. So giving you the tips now definitely helps you guys so you know exactly what to do when the time does come and it arrives and you need to do it. So I'm just saying, look up for the NFL 100 players. I already bought myself a Tony G. I thought that was a great deal. I'm letting you guys know that. Now, coming over to the 92s and 93s, as far as what to do with their coins, you can pick up some of these for pretty good prices, too. They're not entirely the cheapest right now, but they are definitely cheaper than they've been. Just a quick little tip. Now, back to what I was saying before about with the store and what to do with your coins. My best advice I can give you guys, that I will mention in another Kindling video today, is I wouldn't recommend you touch much of this just yet. I'd say you save a lot of, I say you stockpile. It's always stockpile first until we know. Because in hindsight, you're gonna regret it. Like let's say you spend all your money right now on these gifts. You, go, you spend all your kindling on gifts. Then in two weeks, it turns out the gifts are horrible, let's just say. And they do a blitz for kindling. Now you have no kindling. I'd recommend you stockpile. Just play house rules, play souls, get everything done. Get as many stock, uh, stockpiles, as much kindling as you can. And just wait, sit back. That, that's my method every year. Sit back, like I have nothing yet, just sit back. Watch how things unfold. Watch out. Wait for the market to settle. Because people were buying McCaffrey and Bruce Smith for 100K more than they are now when they first dropped it. Thought it was a good deal. Now he's 320. Then people were selling them because like, oh my god, I'm losing coins. I'm just selling at this price. Now they're back up. Now Bruce Smith's 500K instead of 450. Things went down and they came right back up. I let things settle because some the biggest mistake people do is when it first drops, they buy here. It starts to go down. Some people sell here and it comes right back up to here. It's always gonna be somewhere in between. So that's just my best advice I give you guys as far as that. As far as gifts, like I said. The large gifts, you can feel free to buy them. The small, medium, not horrible, but again, we don't know the value. These right now cost about 180K per, give or take, depending on the value you do, maybe like 150K per. And we don't know if they'll be worth that much. We don't really know. There's like seven or eight of them. So we got to really see, wait for clues. I'm going to wait for clues to come out. Wait for clues to come out. So you know what you're, what you're working with, kind of what, what's going to happen. Now, these medium and small gifts, there's no variation here. What you see is what you're getting. A medium gift to that small gift. There's only two here. They might be releasing more as the game goes on, but for the time being, only large presents have a variation of gifts within their, their tiers. And I wouldn't really recommend you touch much of this. You could open packs if you want, but I do not recommend that ever. Now, I pretty much think that wraps up the coin. So first thing, be on top of skyrocketing um, zero chill price. Any moment, you see them going up, sell them, and then you can buy them back later for cheaper. That's gonna happen, like I just said. 
McCaffrey was back at like 295, buy a few, so I'm late for 350. Always be doing that, because with the zero chill, there's gonna be a lot of hype back and forth. And the best thing about zero chill is a separate currency, so people want kindling. So a YouTuber makes a video going over, buy this present pack now, kindling goes up. You sell them. A YouTuber says, oh wait, maybe don't get kindling, they come back down. I'm telling you, a lot of people are gonna be dictating the market here. So if you're staying there and you're watching them go up and down, go up and down, you could've made, you could've made easily a few hundred K right now off that if you're ready for it. You could have bought a bunch of McCaffrey's, all those guys for a lot cheaper than they were. Darius Leonard's for 150, sold for 200K. It could have happened already. So that already, that's already proof right there. So I recommend you guys stay on top of that. And as far as NFL 100 cards, I'm telling you, be on the lookout on NFL 100 days and then with zero chill, the price is going to be, they're going to be crashing at multiple moments of the day. So just be on top of that. And if you are, you're going to get them for pretty cheap. Tony Gonzalez was an absolute steal for me. Going to power up, put him around the team. I sold George Kittle. It's almost like I exchanged them. He's almost the price of Kittle. Anyways, guys, that is about it for the video. I think I covered everything I need to do. I will make a guide for you guys going over all the coin methods and all the coin tips I got for you guys as soon as we get some more info on the zero chill and I made potential blitz. But for the time being, this is my best advice as far as coins, what to be doing. And remember guys, it's 25 days of food miss. To enter, go down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below the secret word, enter console. Guys, I will start ramping up the giveaways as of probably tomorrow since we are finally into zero chill. And that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.